The community that I am researching is the University of Arizona softball community. I claim that the softball program is based on tradition, and without those traditions, the program wouldn't be where they are today. I got the opportunity to interview the head coach, Mike Andrea, who has been the coach for the past 35 years, to ask him what he thought about the traditions. How do you believe tradition has shaped this program? Well, tradition is the foundation, I think, for any organization, and it really has kind of paved the way um, for the future. So I think anytime you have a, a great program or a great organization, hopefully the past um, becomes a bridge for the future. And we're always trying to blend those two things so that um, kids that play at this program understand the people that have come before them, um, the people that have put in the blood, sweat, and tears to give us what we have today. Something I think is truly amazing about this program is their use of social media. Not only do they keep up on the current activities of what the team is doing, but they also talk about the past. This post, in particular, is about Taryn Moat, someone who played here for four years and is now one of the coaches. This is also something that ties into tradition, given the fact that she did play here and now she is coaching. What is your favorite tradition and why? Okay, well, I have a, I guess, part of the tradition is the people. I think that's what makes tradition is the people, and I've been blessed to be here for a long time, so uh, I can honestly say that I have lived through the tradition of Arizona softball, and I think one of the things that I look forward to each and every day is when I get to work, I open up my book and I look at the kids whose birthdays are that particular day, and I've tried never for, to forget any kid that's played for us um, to be able to wish them a happy birthday and let them know that we still think about them and we still thank them for what they did for Arizona softball. Although he strayed from the actual question, from what I got from that was that he just enjoys the people who go to the games, the people that he's had the opportunity to meet, the players that he's had, and he just loves the fact that he can look into his playbook and look whose birthday it is. He will never miss a birthday of any player that he's ever had. He writes it down. He loves just the family environment, and that's his favorite tradition. The secondary source that I have is Tradition by Edward Schills. He really thinks that tradition is cultural continuity, in social attitudes, customs, and intuitions. Um, this relates to the softball program because the traditions have been handed down. They, It's the handing down of information, beliefs, customs, by example from one generation to another. You implemented the process of earning your A. How do you think this new tradition will help the program? Well, when I implemented earning the A, I really felt like we had a gap um, where people really did not understand what the A represented. And I think that's one thing about tradition. Tradition hopefully builds a foundation and builds principles and builds pillars that each and every team that comes after that tries to live up to. Another interview that I conducted was with the assistant coach, Stacy Iveson. She played on one of Mike Andrea's first teams, and I got to ask her, about some of the traditions and how they have changed. How has tradition changed since you've been here? Well, it's kind of cool because I've gotten to see Coach like since the very beginning. His first year was my freshman year. So I, I can't really say that tradition has changed, but I could say that it's I've seen it develop. I've seen Arizona softball become Arizona softball, um, the winning tradition and how it, you know, we started off not as strong, obviously, those first couple of years when he was kind of setting the ground, you know, the groundwork. and. Um, just the standards that he set and that like slowly started to change over time and by the time my senior year rolled around you know we were had the expectations of going to the College World Series every year and, and competing for a national championship whereas when he started here that really wasn't the case so I think the winning tradition you know started slowly and kind of built over time and then each year it's just kind of added a new layer to it and I think the quality of, of athletes that he's had and the quality of people that he's recruited to come in here has been able to like carry that tradition throughout you know three decades of coaching. From all of the interviews that I conducted and from what I can see, Arizona softball is solely based on tradition. Whether that means something different to each people or something the same, 
people know this program because of tradition. And I think that without that tradition, the program would not be where it is today. People value that, and the fans, the players, the coaches, you can really tell that that is something that they look forward to waking up to and coming to see every single time they're out there.